Hello and welcome back to another charger review. Today I have the War Monster Dual Bay Intelligent LCD battery charger in for testing and this was sent by the manufacturer for review. So I'll give you an overview of everything that's included. I've laid it all out here on the table and we'll do some tests later on see how it stacks up for charging. Looking at the front, you'll see that this supports lithium ion, nickel metal hydride and the lithium ion phosphate cells, which are at a lower voltage. And this is an approximate guide to the charging times. And it's just that, just a rough approximation. On the other side, we get an overview of the LCD display. This gives you quite a bit more information than the standard basic chargers. And on the back, this gives you some of the specifications and features. We have voltage activation if you have a zero volt cell as well. This is the car charger that's included in the pack and I have the USA version plug. We do different ones for different regions so I will be using an adapter to test the charger from the mains. You also have a mini USB cable included so you have three choices of power supply and they're all provided in the box. Looking at the user manual it's reasonably well laid out. It covers everything that you need to know about the charger. It's quite a simple charger to operate and use, but there are a few translation errors in there, so you might have to reread a few sections to get a grip on things. But it does cover things like the display and the uh, battery activation features, as well as setting for the lithium ion phosphate cells. There's not really much to go wrong on this. It's a very simple, straightforward unit. Now, taking a look. At the charger you can see we have a standard size for this type of charger we also note the 9 volt charging in the middle on the back we have the four silicone pads and some ventilation I'll just zoom in to show you some more details on that this is where the power input is and also the mini USB port nothing else on the other sides in terms of build quality it's pretty good the sliders feel decent they're quite smooth and when I've been testing different cells, including protected cells, and there's no problems at all, the slots are fairly good length on these, about 73 millimeters. I didn't have any problems at all with the batteries. This is a quick look at the nine volts that you can insert. You will have a need to use the 12 volt car or the home adapter to charge those cells. Just quickly powering up the unit, looking at the display. Now if you need to set for the lithium ion phosphate, you have to do that before you put the batteries in the charger. So you can see the display change there to show that. So it's really all you can do with the display apart from cycle through some of the um, information that's provided or turn the backlight on. Now when you put a battery into the charger, you will see the timer count up. You also have a graph at the top there um, showing the stages of charging. The voltage display is a two digit display, so we can see display going up there on the left. And I'll insert another battery now into the right hand slot. So, as well as timing how long it takes to charge and the voltage, as well as the percentage, it does also tell you how many milliamps an hour it's put in to the battery. It's not as accurate as a discharge cycle, but it is useful to know that. Now I've put a nickel metal hydride cell in. You'll see the display change from lithium ion to nickel metal hydride. And when it's full, both displays show the amount of time that it's taken to charge and how much they've put into the battery. Now I'm doing a voltage test on this now to see what the termination is like. To do this, you have to do it quickly after it's finished charging. So 4.19, very good result for lithium ion. It's pretty much spot on, exactly what I'd be looking for and with a nickel metal hydride just under the 1.49 volts. Again, very good result on that. Quite happy with the charging on this. And you notice when you put the 9 volt cell in and you put other batteries in, you just get the one display show, so you can only charge the 9 volt on its own, and that's a much lower charge due to the fact that batteries are low capacity, but it can charge the nickel metal hydride and lithium ion rechargeables in that slot. Now if you insert a battery the wrong way around, um, this doesn't bring up any warnings at all, but it doesn't attempt to charge the battery, so it's quite safe in that regard. It also has voltage activation feature on this. I'm just testing the standby on this, and to test that there isn't any additional charge going into the cell, you can see when I take the battery out, it doesn't really change much apart from a slight drain for the LCD display. So the termination does terminate properly with the lithium ions. There's a slight trickle charge with the nickel metal hydrides. The highest charging speeds that I got off of the charger per bay were just under 0.9 amps. I did find that there is one weaker area. It's the fact that you cannot um, 
manually reduce the charging rate for small lithium cells. So the workaround for that would be to use the mini USB and plug it into a USB 2 port. So a few overall thoughts with the War Monster. I was quite happy with the charging. The charge quality is good. The charging speeds are fairly decent as well for a two slot charger. One of the obvious advantages with this charger is that you have three various ways that you can power it so it could make for a fairly useful travel charger as well as a normal household one so i was pretty happy with the charging on this the nine volt batteries that you can charge too you have the car charger included as well and the lcd display is generally pretty good it's quite useful i would prefer to be able to charge cells at a lower rate um, also the voltage display an extra digit would be handy and the lcd could have slightly better viewing angles but overall it's a pretty good little charger particularly if you want to charge 9 volt lithium or nickel metal hydride cells and the lithium iron phosphate ones so thanks very much for watching the review i hope you found it useful don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next video